Yo, what's up my young quills? It's your boy the Typhlosion Explosion here, and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you guys did not check out the last episode, go check it out now, and then come back to this video. Alright? Everyone caught up? Alright. In the last episode, we didn't do too, too much, but we did. We did get a few new recruits. We got... San Drew, the San Drew. I was not very creative with that name. I know how dumb it sounds. And we have an egg. It's still an egg, but it moves around inside. Sometimes it might be close to hatching. All right, that egg's just chilling there. All right, now we're in um, what's this place called? Union Cave. And we're gonna try to get through it in this episode. So stick around and like it. And please leave a like if you really enjoy this video. It really helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't. Have it. You will be joining the Cyndaquil Army. Alright. Let's get right into it. Okay, we found a potion. That'll be good for killing up, um, Sandro. I'm gonna try to train up Sandro in this episode. Because I don't want him to fall behind. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. Guys, uh, I officially added Sandro Drew to the team. He's, he's a part of us now. He's a part of the Cyndaquil Army. I decided, you know what? Let's do it. Sandrews awesome. And we're finding a lot of Sandrews. Or Sandrews. I roam far and wide in search of Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon too? Then you're my collecting rival. No. I'm not. Because I'm better than you. In every single way, shape, and form. Alright. I just love Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Okay, this is not a good matchup for us at all. We are gonna go into Sky, and let's hope if she, if she could take it out. But I sure, I'm sure she can. She's been doing a lot of work lately. Tackle. That's gonna do no damage. Ooh, that crit. Kind of reminds me of that crit of my Pokemon Black and White Nuzlocke. Oh yeah, today me, my friend, and my uh, cousin. We all decided to do a black and white Nuzlocke. I am not good with, I am not playing a lot of Nuzlocks, and we decided black and white because of how hard the game is. And um, yeah, we already beat the first gym. Well, at least I did. They're falling behind, but it's a. I did the one good thing. I only lost one Pokemon, and that was Petra. And that was completely my fault. I feel so bad. Poor Petra. Yeah, well their team are, teams are kind of getting decimated. My friend, she like lost like half her Pokemon. It, it was it was crazy. I feel so bad for her. I mean that stinks. You lose you lose half your team and you're in a Nuzlocke. And uh, okay, my team I have a uh, uh, Tepig, Bacon the Tepig, uh, uh, Theo Jr. because she had a um, um Purloin and it fainted. So I decided to name my new Purloin after her, hers, because it's dead now. I also have A Drive, the Lily Pup, named after the YouTuber A Drive, whose dog is actually named Lily Pup. So that's a nice little shout out to him. Um, how can I not remember my team? Uh, I had uh, what was his name? Zen, Zen the Patra, but he's dead. He's in Pokemon Heaven, I guess. Yeah, we cannot do anything to these Pokemon. Uh... And I have... What's the last one? It's a Pansage. I, I don't... I don't remember the name. I guess he doesn't want to battle us. Uh... Hmm... Wait, are you serious? We're already out of the cave? I thought this would take the entire episode. Well, okay, some... We're gonna be training up then. <laughs> Whoa, an Onyx! Onyx! He doesn't really say his name in the anime. He more like Roars. Dang it! Well, I forgot the name of my own Pokemon. How sad is that? Ah. Uh, oh, yeah, yay! The Pan Pan Sage. Because I think uh, yay, and I think Japanese is Leaf. Yeah, my friend told gave me the nickname. 
Well, I'm actually the one who's um, looking at the most of the Nuzlocke because I've like lost only one Pokemon. So so far, I'll be I've been doing good. I'll guys keep I'll keep you guys posted if anything happens. I don't know. I just love Nuzlocke. It's just that thrill of excitement. Now you understand why Nuzlocke are so popular. They're just like so fun. They're just so exciting. You never know what what's gonna happen. It's a challenge. Especially Pokemon Black and White. If you guys have played Pokemon Black and White, you would know more than anyone that that game is freaking hard. Especially towards the end, man. That game is like... So I'm very nervous. I don't want to, like, die or lose my Pokemon because I like my team so far. I'm really hoping I get Blitzel because I just love, love Blitzel. I, it just, I always use it pretty much every time I play black and white. Even if it's not a, uh, even if, even if it's a temporary member. I just always use it because I love the electric types of the generation. And I cannot wait for the electric type of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Hopefully I'll like it because the last five generations I've liked all the regional electric types. And I was not, I'm not huge on Pikachu because, you know, it's a little bit mainstream, it's a little bit they kind of sell Pikachu a little too much. And that's, that's kind of a turnoff to me, honestly. An Awakening? Well, I don't even know. I was about to come up with some kind of, kind of witty, witty comment, comment, but I couldn't. If it's like a cave isn't scary, if your strong Pokemon aren't scary, well, here's an, awake, here's an Awakening for you. You're not strong. I'm strong. It's time to wake up and realize you aren't strong. I'm the strong one. Hey, at least I tried. Give me credit. And we don't have any ground moves, sadly, so... Uh, hope Cassandra takes thing out. Oh, that, that hurt. That really hurt. Ah, uh, Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. I should probably can heal, heal uh, Sky up as well. She's taking a few beatings. Oh, man. Ooh. That's gonna hurt. Oh! Luckily this isn't a Nuzlocke, or else, we, or else we'd be screwed. And uh, Pidgey's kind of approaching her evolution. She's getting closer. Because I cannot wait to have a powerful Pidgeotto! That onomatopoeia- no, not onomatopoeia, that sound, uh, alliteration, that's the word. Ugh. Excuse me about my dumbness. I'm very dumb. But, you know what's not dumb? Oh, Sandra grew to level 8, alright. And Sky's gonna go to level 15, okay. Alright, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. And she learns Quick Attack, yes! Oh, man. Fire Breather Ray, Flash! Well, I guess he realized he isn't strong. But Pidgey is. Pidgey's OP. I just love Pokemon Crystal. The Jet 2 games... Excuse me, just had lunch. Oh no! It's Zubat, the signature Pokemon in every cave. The thing no hiker wants to run into. But always uh, does, because every five sec steps. It's... Wait. Huh? Is there two ways out of... Is there two ways out of the cave? Or was that the entrance? Okay, I'm gonna actually start exploring this cave a little bit, because I feel like this was a little too short of a trip. And, uh, kind of do some exploring anyway. Oh, we found a TM! Yes! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm doing that. It's weird. Balls! Oh yeah, I forgot to teach- Oh, Swift! Swift's a TM, that's right! Uh, Mud Slap. Actually, I was originally gonna plan to give this to Sky, but actually, let's give it to Sandrew. He'll get a uh, ground mood. And, uh, Swift! Uh... Who should I give it to? Okay, let me think. You know, I could always give the Quilava. Let's see what things Mixtape could learn, you know, so far. You know, it's like Ember, Tackle, Smokescreen... Lear? You know what? Let's teach it to him. Give her a smoke screen. 
this probably will be a big mistake. I should have given it to Sky. But, you know. Trainers make mistakes. I don't really know. Well, I make a lot of mistakes. Because I'm a very mistakey person. That's. That's not a real word. <sighs> so far, Zubat hasn't been that bad. I say that, and then I run into like 10 Zubats in like. Three steps. X defend, okay. Well, I guess that's it for the cave. Nothing really too crazy. I was actually, I actually underestimated Union Cave. I thought it was gonna be a huge cave. I guess because I'm so used to rock tunnel. Oh, did you see what you guys, what that Sandra did? It like, it like scratched itself. That's adorable. What I keep trying to say, and I keep forgetting to say it because I keep getting distracted, because I am easily distracted. Oh, it's not, I'm just joking. Uh, I just love the Gen 2 games. They're definitely some of my favorite games, especially Soul Silver. Definitely one of my favorite Pokemon games. I feel like the Joe games are hit, hit it just right. Two regions to explore, bigger post game, Ch decent challenging trainers, that's good. A good rival, a great rival, a very developed one. Uh, you focus more on the journey, it's not really f heavily focused on Team Rocket. Just like Red and Blue, uh, because today the games have been focusing a lot more on the villain team than as opposed to your journey. Which I kinda like that you're focusing on a journey now more. It's kinda like X and Y. I guess that's why I like X and Y so much. Alright, and here's a uh, fruit berry tree, it's a poison cure berry. Oh, this episode has... Like I said, the cave was pretty short. I guess it, it just hit, hit everything just right. There wasn't really anything. It was much bigger than I expected. Are you serious? You think that was big? That was nothing. I expected it to be bigger. Ugh. Well, she underestimated the cave. I overestimated the cave. And here's Hiker Anthony and his Geodude. Oh wait! We can take it down now, we have a ground move! And ground moves are super effective. This is the one time Mudstop's actually useful because it's a physical move in this game. And uh, because all ground moves are physical. Ha! Rock Throw Mist. Speed Draw, I guess. Okay. You can do this! Believe in your heart. Up, oh, miss tackle. That's another. That's another tackle miss for my opponent. Someone calculate that. Well, add that to the uh, tackle counter thing. Man, we're just like spamming, lowering. We're just lowering his evasionist like that's funny. I'm not a huge fan of evasionist lowering moves. I feel like or that's another one. So my opponent's two. Really. You couldn't take it out? Come on. I know they have great defenses, but still. That gives you no excuse, Andrew. No excuse at all. Oh man, that's gonna be a lot of XP. Yes, level 9. Alright, Sandrew. Whoa, Sandrew. What? 9 special attack? Wow, that's low. Especially for his level. You know what? Machop's coming out. So I'm gonna swap into Sky. Because she's a flying type. And what do birds do best? Poop. That's what they do. They poop in on cars. That's what they do best. But not my bird. My bird doesn't just poop on cars. It poops on my opponents after they failed it and failed to beat me. Low kick. Ouch. That was a little. I kinda, I'm like overestimating everything in this episode. And we just got quick attack to finish it off. And another 200. Man. If Sandra stayed in, that would be a huge experience. Whoa, you got more zip than me. What do you mean by zip? I don't know. And here we are, Azalea Town, where we can challenge the gym leader. And who is this? It's unsafe to go in there, so I'm standing guard. Aren't you? Aren't I, good Samaritan? Yes, you are, good Samaritan. Alright, we made it. The Soulbook have disappeared from town. I heard their tails are being sold everywhere. Well, the last episode I tried buying someone's tail. Some Slowpoke tail off the sky, but he was a cheapskate and he overpriced the entire thing. So, I couldn't. 
Let's see help our team. See the fourth one, one of the balls uh, contains egg, the egg. Like, how is an egg gonna get healed, and how does it even fit in a ball? Did you come to get get Kurt to make some balls? A lot of people do that. Oh yeah, I'm sure a lot of people want him to make your balls. Oh yeah. It's a fruit bearing tree. It's a white apricorn. I don't remember what the white apricorn makes. I think it's the repeat ball or the fast ball. Oh, are you Kerr? Make my balls, please. <laughs> oh yes, Kerr. I want you to make my balls. <laughs> please make my balls. Pokeballs. You know, I want more pokeballs. T T E, huh? Eh. You want me to make some balls? Oh yes, Kerr. Please. Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Ah, don't worry, I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil organization that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. That's not the only thing that's dirty. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke tails for sale. So I'm going to give them, them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke. Oh, Kurt is on his way. You know, Kurt's actually the name of my dog. Except we spell it with a C, not a K. This guy's weird. Grandpa's gone. I'm so lonely. Girl. Girl. You lonely? <sighs> Little over dramatic, if you ask me. And this is the charcoal kill. I think you can't get the um, uh, charcoal until you return one of the cutters far um, far fetch this thing. Cause this thing's gonna run away in like Ilex Forest, and then once you return it to him, or when you return it, when you like do the puzzle, uh, you'll return it to him, and then this guy will give you the charcoal. Pretty cool. Mar, I should probably stock up on some stuff. Uh, three thousand dollars. We could buy charcoal, but it's too much. That's a little weight. That's way too much, actually. I'll buy, uh, two Paralyzed Heals, and, uh, an two Antidotes. And then I'll buy three, three Super Potions. And, uh, that's about it. You can never be too safe. If it was a Nuzlocke, I'd be spending my money like crazy. Alright. Guess we could do some of the Slowpoke, in Slowpoke well. What are, what are you doing? Hey there, TTE. The guard up there took off when I shot at him. But then I took Tomo down the well. I slammed down hard on my back, so I can't move. Rats, if I were to fit, a Pokemon would pun punish them. Eh, couldn't, can't be helped. TTE, show him how good you are in my place. Do I have to? I really don't wanna. But you know, it's good XP, so why not? But wait, if you broke your back, why aren't you on the floor? Well, Zubat. Don't start with me. Don't you dare start appearing everywhere. See, I really don't know if uh, we'll get we'll get through uh, Slowpoke well in this episode. We might. I'll try speeding it up. Don't. I'll stand and guard up on top. Well, he stumbled up and sort of fell down here. Blah, blah blah. You know, for this, for Poke, that's what I love about Pokemon. That's why Pokemon's so great. When it was first introduced as red and blue, they were. Revolutionary because it's something no one ever saw before. The game looks so different. It was something that not a lot of people saw. No one really, I guess, because there weren't a lot of games where you could train your own monsters and you gotta go through all this. Because Pokemon was good from the for its time. And what's great is that Pokemon would stood the test of time. It it's a very well aged game. They aged very well amongst us, and we are have very fond memories, especially the kids like that were born like the. That were like kids around the 1990s, they'll, they'll tell you that they played Pokemon because playing back then, playing Pokemon was cool. If you played Pokemon, you're cool. It's like that was your key to get into the cool squad. But now it's not really considered cool. Actually, if you play it, the it's the opposite. You're considered a nerd or you're considered a loser. It's very sad how that's the case. Because Pokemon, they don't know what they're missing out. They're great games. They may not see, they may not be shooting games where you could shoot, shoot a person and blow things up and throw bombs. 
but they're very good games, and they are very, and they're classics, pretty much. Another miss, another tackle for them, miss for them. I can never say it the right way. And these games, like I said, they hit it perfectly. There was a balance of everything. There was nothing that was too overpowered, except Whitney's Mill Tank. Because everyone knows that thing was a beast. But what's weird is that I never really had too much trouble with Whitney. I know people are going to hate me for this and be like, ugh, get annoyed with me. But I never really had too much trouble. Another miss, another tackle miss. Sandshrew's just going to be bringing the tackling misses. Or they're going to keep missing their tackles on Sandshrew. Yes, this is not your day. Alright, it's a go rocket, Gronk. Stop taking tails! Yeah, just try to defeat all of us. Okay. To be honest, you act like you intimidate me. Oh. Oh. Well, miss. Wow. Wanna go out to dinner tonight? Well, dinner's gotta wait. We gotta beat it. Beat up the zoo bat. If I beat you, can you wanna go out with me? Hey? No? Okay. I'm so lonely. I gotta flirt with a, a... A game. That's how lonely I am. I'm a very lonely person. Ugh. Don't get... Hit yourself in confusion like a million times. Oh, this is gonna take forever at this rate. But I don't wanna get anyone else get experience. I want Sandra to get this battle. He'll get level 10. Don't get, don't hurt yourself, please. Good, just keep scratching it. Ugh. Okay, this is taking forever. <laughs> At this point, to be honest, this game was like really what, like 1999, 1998. Uh, for for the time it was released, it the graphics were actually pretty cool, good. Not gonna lie, and the Pokemon, I love the Pokemon Joe. There are a lot of Pokemon that are just so cool, and they have such great designs. Because what's great about these games, the designs were generic. Um, not generic, uh, simple. People complain so much that today. The, the designs are overcomplicated, and I'm not gonna lie, they're very overcomplicated. It's <coughs> black here. <hair. coughs> but even the next one, I can't lie. The X, I'm not gonna lie. I don't. In my opinion, I don't think the the uh, designs were too overcomplicated. I think they were they were pretty good. But these, but Jodo had definitely the purest Pokemon designs, and they're actually one of those. And Gold and Silver, are some of the most popular games because. They are like a sequel to Pokemon. They feel like a sequel because they just they were intended to be a sequel, and they and they actually do feel like they're a sequel because they're great games, and because there's just so much that it kind of like wraps up. But because of its popularity, they decided to make Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. I think I could take on both of them. Quick take it slow if we. This, these games, they're just great, and for those who don't, uh, who never played this and you're a Pokemon fan, you guys should definitely check these games out. They're very, very, very good. And I, I've never had a complaint with these games. Sure, I wish they had a little more, I wish the Pokemon were a little more, I guess, relevant, or you could use more Johto Pokemon, because you seem to be using more Kanto than Johto Pokemon. And some Pokemon, like Quillfish, no one really uses because you forget about it, and B, it's pretty much you, uh, pointless Pokemon. It's just Dex Filler. I feel like the Jota games had a lot of Dex Filler. Like, like, for example, the baby Pokemon. What was the purpose of them? Well, their purpose was not only for Dex Filler, but to introduce the breeding mechanic. And I guess it makes sense because I can't really see a Magmar hatching from an egg. I see a Magby hatching from an egg. But still, they're Pokemon like Skarmory that 
That thing, I'm like, that thing has from an egg? Really? I don't see it. Because they look like they deserve a, a pre-evolution. Or Smeargle, I don't really see a Smeargle just hatching of an egg. I think, I would think it'd have a pre-evolution. Maybe in Sun and Moon, they'll give more pre-evolutions. And you learn Sand Attack. Yay. Sanders learned Sand Attack. You know, I have no patience. So let's just rip, rip this thing apart. With Gust! All my gusting powers! It's gonna super sonic me, really? This isn't the time to be confusing me like crazy! I'm a very confused person, but I do not like being confused. Quick attack it. Alright. That XP is pretty good. And we defeated another Rocket Grab. Just too strong. Yep. You know what? I know we got like a few more. I think this will, might be the last guy. But I'm actually going to leave this off and take him on in the next episode. So like I said in the beginning of the episode, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. You'll be joining the Syndicore Army. And let's try to expand. And please let's try to get over one like because that's all I've been getting lately. So in the next episode, we're going to do more and we might even challenge the second gym. So, see you guys in the next episode. Peace.